So is the universe alive? If so, how can it be shown? Before we start, I'll quickly explain human reproduction. So in humans, the male will donate an XY chromosome and the female an XX chromosome. The information contained by these is the human DNA and is random each time, causing mutations and fine-tuning. Basic, simple evolution through reproduction. But what is life? If we make three assumptions and assume that for something to be alive, it needs to reproduce, evolve over time and metabolize. Three simple factors that fit every living thing on Earth. However, stars also follow these three processes too. They explode and die, producing nebula nurseries that give birth to more stars. But what about metabolizing? Well, an equation derived by the physicist Jeffrey West solves the metabolization process. It links mass and time with other constants to give a specific metabolic rate. It accurately predicts every form of life on Earth. Applying it to stars again gives us an exact value of a star's energy consumption fitting experimental data. Therefore stars reproduce, evolve and metabolize using fusion. They are alive. But what about the universe? Is the cosmos alive? Let's look at the black hole when it is collapsing towards the singularity. String theory predicts that it does not collapse to an infinite point, but rather halts at the length of the 11 dimensional string, the Planck length. This rebound causes expansions within the heart of the black hole, giving birth to new regions. These regions are new baby universes that spring off the black hole's core. The more black holes a universe contains, the further it has evolved and more likely for it to reproduce itself. Black holes themselves are created by massive stars, about 20 times larger than our star, exploding and collapsing. For these giants to be formed, we need cooled hydrogen clouds, which are cooled by carbon monoxide, made from carbon and oxygen, which make us. We are a byproduct of cosmological natural selection. We've established now a universe reproduces, evolves, and metabolizes energy given by the umbilical cord like black hole. Let's now ask does the universe think? Quantum computers take subatomic particles to conduct processes by using the idea that a subatomic particle can be at multiple places at once. It only works by understanding that every particle is conscious, stores information and can think. The universe is entirely built by particles. Our brains are able to compute about 10 to the 16 calculations per second. The universe, with its mind coming from the quantum realm, can process 10 to the 160 calculations per second. So to put that into comparison, if our brain power was the size of a grain of sand and the universe's brain power, we said, was the size of our sun, that wouldn't be enough. We would need our sun to enlarge by a factor of a million, billion, 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 billion. We are part of the network of infinite universes connected and entangled by quantum mechanics to everything in reality. We are the universe.